Ed. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We're here five days a week. We go seven and a half hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. And the market's a closed Monday, which is, uh, for all of us in the market, it's a beautiful thing. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 89. NASDAQ is flat. S&P's off 5.5. Gold contract up $6.80, trading at 1585 an ounce. Silver, silver up nine cents, seventeen dollars seventy one cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up sixty one cents, fifty two dollars three cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You got the ten year up seven ticks, trading one thirty one. Thirty year up seventeen ticks at one sixty two thirteen. And king dollar, king dollar up fifty seven ticks, trading ninety nine one twenty five. The euro is at one oh eight. The pound is at one thirty, and the yen is at one oh nine point seven seven to one U S dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. What do you have? We have another day, we have another week, we have another all time high. Inside the spy out here today, what we did, uh, actually, uh, let's see, the high yesterday was 338.12. We got the 337.73, but I believe the cash actually went to a new high. No, it didn't. So it just missed the new high. So the high uh, thus far was going to be yesterday. If we put this on a weekly basis, what you're going to see out here is that the bottom line is that you're getting away from the breakout area in the, in the cash S&P, uh, in the S&P in general. Uh, the breakout area there is uh, 33.37. And right now we're at 33.71. And the X100, which continues to be the leader out here, we take a look at the Qs. Uh, Qs made up a high today of uh, 234.86. Uh, that, uh, the high yesterday was... Uh, 234.93. So uh, there's no doubt that uh, just about made it. You can see if you happen to be watching Tiger TV, you can see how this volume is contracting in a dramatic way. Uh, what we did on Tuesday in the queues, you did 30 million shares. Wednesday, you did 24 million. Thursday, you did 22 million. And we'll see whether you can even get to 20 million today or at 16 million. So uh, what, what it, you do have as the bottom line is that you continue to push higher. The volume continues to contract. You know, I just put this on a uh, a weekly, and you can see on a weekly, you know, we had gone down slightly the, the t two weeks ago uh, with 189 million. We went up last week with 143, and this week we're going to have uh, about 120. And NVIDIA, NVDA, which is one of the ones that wrote pushing the NDX 100 higher today. This is a classic. You know, if we, if we were listening to the program yesterday, you're going to see it was a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we were talking about this last couple of days, actually. It had taken the B point out of an ABC structure on the way up on Monday. Uh, you got over the B point, had the volume. Now, your price projection on this, which was so cool, was $292. We up 19 bucks today. You're at $294. Now, watch this. This is what's going to be intriguing here. So if we put this on a weekly first, what you're going to see is that you're coming into an over the high. The high, the last, the, the all-time high is 292.76. So on the weekly basis, that had 53 million shares. And you got to remember, what we did in NVIDIA it was like a disaster. This thing went from $292 straight down to 128, literally uh, three months later. Okay, so on the weekly basis, what are you doing? Well, you're coming up with tremendously higher, higher volume. 53 million was the number there. We're doing 74. So the bottom line, don't even think this is uh, equity that is pushing into its highs with tremendously higher volume. Now, in the monthly, it's going to be a different animal. So at the end of this month, we're going to be looking at, at okay, where is NVIDIA? The reason being is that on a monthly basis, you're talking about 324 million. And even with this acceleration up that we have, this week, you're only at 103. So that's telling me the most you're probably going to do is 200 million. So the real kicker is going to be at the end of this month, can you and do you close over 292? Because if you don't close over 292 and your volume continues to 
basically drop off, you're going to be in a consolidation, which it totally makes sense, by the way. Why? Because this was a one-way run, which NVIDIA loves to do, from a price point of $132, uh, you know, seven months ago. We went from $132, took it all back to $294, and this is a 100% move of a move. When you do a 100% move of a move, meaning that you've gone down so many points, you go all the way back up. Most of the time, that is the end of that particular move. It has to do something other in order to build more cars to get up and over that level. Uh, if we go over to the NQs, uh, the NDX in general, and we take a look at that NDX, what you're going to see as the move is out there, you got XBD up 11.5%. That's quite a move, too. NVIDIA is up 6.5%. you got Illumina up 2.8%, and you got eBay up 2.5%. Uh, the SMHs, so let's take a look at the SMHs, because the SMHs, no doubt, that's what drives the NDX100, as well as driving the NASDAQ composite. We have with the NDX100, uh, on a weekly basis, we got to a price point this week, got over the highs, we got to a price point of 150 to 62. The last high out here was uh, 150. Uh, bottom line on the weekly basis, though, you are over that and you have volume over that. So that's saying that will get tested one more time. On the monthly basis, that's going to be the same setup that we're going to want to be looking at. Why? Because this monthly volume has been contracting in a huge way uh, when we do look at that uh, SMH. You know, but thus far, the bottom line, it got into it on a weekly basis, has some volume as we got into that area. Some of the other higher volume stocks in this market out here today, you got Roku, that came out with numbers last night. That's trading down $8 at 130 You got uh, Smile Direct is getting whacked. That's down $2.50 at $12.80. That stock's in big, big trouble. Lyft is down 2 bucks. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow Industrials out here. We have Visa is the leader out here today. That's uh, up 1%. Uh, putting 15 positive points. Home Depot's putting 10. American Express is putting 7. Taken away from it, you get uh, IBM negative 29, United Health negative 29, Boeing negative 22. Stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming back with our man, Mr. Bud Springs. Bud uh, is uh, in the mortgage business. We're going to be talking mortgages. We're going to be talking, uh, of course, uh, percentages. What's the 10 year doing? What's the 30 year doing? What can you get a mortgage for right now? What uh, should you be getting prepared for if you are buying a house. We're coming right back.